after this there are columns for supplier name item received date supplier invoice number and supplier invoice date all of these columns are optional together and can be left blank you can also remove these columns from your upload file you must specify value for all of these fields if you specify value in any one of these columns if you have specified value in this column you must also specify values in stock and go down names column if you have specified all of this column along with the stock and go down name a received item entry will be created automatically for that specified supplier all items having the same supplier name supplier invoice number supplier invoice date item received date and go down name will be grouped into a single received item entry the next field is is service item value specified in this column corresponds to the is service item setting of the item you can specify values as yes or no this is an optional field and it can be left blank the default value is no if you are a service provider or have changes for services you need to mark is service item for such items as yes you can also remove this column if you want service items can be purchased too in such cases you have to specify this value as yes so if you specify this value as yes and also specify value in stock then you must also specify purchase related fields that is supplier name purchase price in order to generate the received item entry the value you specify in stock will only be used to generate received item entry and the stock in go down will not have any effect since service items have no stock the next field is is purchased value specified in this column corresponds to the is purchased setting of the item this is an optional field which can be left blank too by default the value will be yes you can also remove this column if you want if you specify this value as no all purchase related fields will be ignored and received item entry will not be created automatically the next field is of is automake this is an optional field which can be left blank by default the value is no the column should have the yes value only when you have no in is purchased column you can also remove this column if you want after that is the column for is sort item this is an optional field which can be left blank by default the value here is no you can also remove this column if you want value specified in this column corresponds to the is sort item setting of the item the next field is is measured at the time of sale value specified in this column corresponds to the is measured at the time of sale setting of the item you can specify values as yes or no this is an optional field which can be left blank the default value is no if you want you can also remove this column from your upload file the next field is of is phoenix weighing scale used this is an optional field if you are a user of phoenix weighing scale the value specified in this column corresponds to the is phoenix weighing scale use setting of the item you can specify values as yes or no this is an optional field which can be left blank by default the value is no this column should have the yes value only when you have yes in is measured in weight column if you specify this value as yes you need to enter a value in the weighing scale item code column if you specify this value as yes then the barcode should start with w followed by five digit number with the total of six characters you will see the next two option of color and size these two fields are been created by going on custom field custom field is not the column name but it can be the name of the custom field for the item which can be specified in settings where you can add columns or not as per your need if you have specified the column name and no value under that then the values will be updated as blank if you have not specified the column name then the value of that item will not be updated next is the option for 
item image and category image. Values specified in these columns will correspond to the image of that item. You have to specify the full path of the item's image. If the full path is not specified, then it will try to get the image in the folder HTPOS in my documents. If you want to remove the image for that item, specify the word remove R E M O V E with dollar sign before and after that word. You can add additional columns at any position. For example, if you want to add percentage column to automatically calculate sales price based on purchase price in Excel, you can do that. But columns with the headings which you have added for your purpose will be ignored by upload mechanism. To see how it works when we need to create items in bulk and add the stock for it, I will add two more items with the same category. I will drag my earlier category to the next two rows and mention the item names for each differently. You can enter the next fields, new item name, barcode, new barcode, search code, name in regional language, description if you want as all these fields are optional. Now enter the sales measuring unit for both the items. If these two quantities of the items are same as the earlier quantity, you can just select the quantity and drag it to the next two rows. If the sales measuring unit you leave it as blank, then it will take the by default quantity which you have defined in the settings. Enter the sales price for both the items and fill the rest of the options as per your need. To enter the stock of any item here, you need to enter all the required fields regarding received item entry, for example the supplier's name, purchase price along with the stock and go down name. To save your entry, go to the file option and click on save. Or you can also press Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now close this window and select the file location by clicking on this three dotted button. Select your excel file and click on open. After selecting the location of your file, click on start import which will display the items uploaded. To view the items uploaded, you can just close this window and go to the item manager and select your category and then your item. Selecting that item will bring up the item detail in the view mode. In this way you can create item and enter the stock of it in bulk which can save your time.